Hey everyone, welcome back to effect for you channel. First of all, I want to apologize for not uploading a video, actually, I was on a little vacation, I hope you forgive me for this, thanks. Today, we are going to create digital title animation, like this. So let's get started. As usual, first we need to create a new composition, 1920 by 1080, I call this main comp. Then create a new solid layer. This is our background layer. Select the layer and search, gradient ramp effect. And choose start and end color little bit dark color. Change ramp shape radial ramp, and move the start point center of the comp and end point left side of the comp. Now go to project window and create a new composition. This is our grid comp. Now create a new solid layer, and search grid effect. Change border amount 3. And corner x 1050. And y 650. Now go to main comp, and drag grid comp into the timer line, and turn off the layer. Now create new solid layer, I call this grid. Select the layer, and search form effect. This is a third party effect from Red Giant. Now open base form. Change size size individual, size x 2300. Size y around 2500. Size z 800. Now particle x around 900. Particle z 6. And particle y 200. Now change rotation x 90 degree. Now open particle. Sphere feather 0. Size 1. Size random 100%. Opacity over y. Set color, over Y. Now open layer map. Functionality, A to A. Map over YZ. Now open size, and change layer with grid comp. Map over XY. Here you can see. Now select the layer and search fast blur effect. And change blur radius to. Now create new adjustment layer. And search curves effect. And adjust your curves like this. Then search brightness and contrast. Brightness 3 and contrast 20. Now search color balance. Shadow green 10 and shadow blue 30 and also increase highlight green and blue 30 now search CC toner effect 
and change mid-tones color. Now search sharpen effect and sharpen amount 4 One more thing select grid layer, and change layer mode add. Now drag flare footage into the timeline. Change layer mode screen. Now create new black solid layer. I call this mask. Select ellipse tool. Double click on ellipse tool to make perfect ellipse. Change mask app to subtract, and increase the mask feather. And change layer opacity 50%. Select all these layers and turn on motion blur. Also convert flare into 3D layer. Now create new composition. I call this text 1. Select text tool, and type your text. Now open text layer. Go to animate and select tracking. Now go to around 2 second forward. And add a keyframe on tracking amount, then go to first frame and change tracking amount minus 30. Select both keyframe and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. And turn off the layer. Now create a new solid layer. Select the layer and search Saber effect. This is free effect form video copilot, so you can download from the website. Now change preset. Here are lots of preset, select any preset which you like. I am using the pulse preset. Glow intensity 50%. Now open customize core. Change core type. Text layer. Then change text layer with digital title text. Here you can see. Now go to first frame, and add a keyframe on start size, and change amount 0%. Then go to 2 second forward, and change start size 10%. Then again go to first frame, and add a keyframe on end offset, and change amount 0%. Then go to 2 second forward and change amount 100%. Core softness around 5. Now change alpha mode mask core. Now here you can see the effect. Cool. Now open glow settings, and change glow intensity 60%. Perfect. Now go to main comp and drag text 1 comp into the timeline, and change layer mode screen. Also convert the text layer into 3D layer. Now create a new camera. I am using 35mm preset camera, then create a null layer. Convert null as a 3D layer and parent your camera with null layer. Go to first frame, hit P for position, and add a keyframe, and move the Z position, back side of the comp. Then go to around one second forward, and move Z position little bit close to the camera, according to you.
Now go to few second forward. And add a keyframe, then go to one second forward. And move the Z position out of the camera. Select all keyframes and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Now select camera, hit P for position, and add a keyframe, then go to around 6 second forward, and move the Z position, little bit close to the camera, so it's give us little bit continuous movement. Cool. Perfect. Now I want to create some particles. So create a new solid layer. I call this particles. Select the layer and search particular effect. This is third party effect. Open emitter and change emitter type box. Emitter size XYZ individual. Emitter size Y0. Then open particle. Change life second around 2. Particle size 2. And change particle color according to you. Increase emitter size x around 800. Now go to first frame and add a keyframe on particle per second and change particle amount 0 then go to one frame forward and change particle amount 200 now go to around one second forward and add a keyframe on particle per second then go to one frame forward and change particle amount 0 Perfect. Select all layer and pre-compose them. This is our scene 1. Now duplicate the scene 1. Then go to project window and duplicate the scene 1 comp here. Now hold alt key and drag scene 2 over the duplicate scene 1. Now move the scene 2 when our scene 1 animation end. Select scene 1. Hit T for opacity and add a keyframe, then go to few frame forward, and change the opacity 0%, then select scene 2, and change opacity 0%, and add a keyframe, then go to few frame forward, and change opacity 100%, Cool. Now open scene 2, and replace the text 1 layer, so go to project window and duplicate the text 1 comp. Now hold alt key and drag text 2 comp, over the text 1 layer, and change your text. Perfect, our animation has done. Hit 0 for ender. Thanks for watching. I hope you like the video. So please like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel. For more tutorial, I'll see you in the next video.